The discussion of whole time violations seems to suggest that whole time violations are really easy to solve. After all, adding enough buffers to remove the whole time violation seems to be something that the uh, CAD tool can do automatically. Let's consider this example. In this example, we have four combinational blocks. Let's assume that each of these two, four blocks lies between two registers and thus forms a path. And so if we want to find the critical path, we will find the worst case delay for any of these four combinational logic blocks. So we have four CMOS gates, a four input NOR, a three input NOR, an inverter and a two input NOR. Uh, the sizing is shown on the gates. And let's go and find the worst case high to low and worst case low to high delay, best case high to low and best case low to high delay. So the reason we are finding worst case as well as, uh, as best case is that we want to check if there are setup time violations for which we need to look at the worst case delays. And we also need to check if there are hold time violations for which we need to look at the best case delays. The reason we are looking at both low to high and high to low transitions is that for at least one of the gates, which is gate F1, by the way, there is asymmetric delay. So let's just go and calculate uh, the worst case and best case high to low and low to high delays. Um, also notice that we are using uh, T setup and TCQ equal to zero and that this network will be operated using a clock period of 16 R naught C naught times 0.69. So we need to operate it at this frequency. We need to check that it can be operated on this frequency. This is an, a piece of information given to allow you to see if there are setup time violations. If there is any path which will operate at longer than this given period, then this path will cause a setup time violation because it will have a negative slack. We also know that T hold in this circuit is equal to 2.5 R0 C0 times 0.69. So for the gate F1, um, self-loading on the output node is equal to um, 16 C0 and the resistance in low to high delay is R0. So we have 16 R0 C0, which is the worst case uh, low to high delay, as well as the only case of low to high delay for F1. The worst case high to low delay for F1, on the other hand, observes a resistance of R0 over 2 because each NMOS is sized at 2, so a single branch in the pull down network of F1 has a resistance of R0 over 2. And so we have 8 R0 C0 here, which shows that we have different high to low and low to high delays for this gate. If we look at gate F2, it has a total loading capacitance on the output node of 9 C0 and the resistance of R0 in both pull up and pull down in the worst case. So we have 9R0 C0 for these two cells. For uh, the unit inverter, which is uh, which happens to be gate F3, we have an output capacitance of 3C0 and a resistance of R0. And thus the time constant is 3R0 C0 for both low to high and high to, to low delay. For the two input NOR gate F4, we have an output capacitance, a, an intrinsic capacitance of 6 C0 and a resistance of uh, R0 and therefore we have a time constant of 6 R0 C0 in both cases. Now let's look at the best time, uh, the best case high to low and low to high delays. For F1, the capacitance is still going to be uh, 16 uh, C0 but the best case delay happens when all four uh, all four uh, branches are activated in the pull down network and therefore uh, we have a best case high to low delay where the resistance is not R0 over 2 but rather R0 over 8 and thus we have a best case delay of 2 R0 C0 in uh, high to low. In low to high we have the same uh, 16 R0 C0 because there's only a single uh, branch in the pull up network and so the worst case is the best case. For the inverter F3, for example, there is no best case and no, no worst case because there is a single branch anyway in both the pull down and the pull up. Similarly, for F4, we can see that the uh, low to high delay is uh, going to be the same for best case and worst case. And that is the same case for uh, F2 because there is only a single branch uh, in the pull up network. However, for F2 in the pull down network, we have a best case resistance of R0 over 3 giving us a best case time constant of 3R0 C0. And for F4, we have a best case pull down um, time constant of 
R0 over 2 times 6 C0, which is 3 R0 C0. And so we have to first check that there are no setup time violations and then check that there are no whole time violations. Uh, what helps with this is calculating the slacks first. And so slack is going to be calculated relative to the 16 R0 C0, which is the operating uh, period that we are using, which is given in the problem. Uh, T setup is zero, and so we assume that the inputs have to arrive at the clock edge, not before it. And so uh, for the worst case high to low slack for F1, uh, we have 16 minus 8, which is 8 uh, R0 C0. But for the worst case low to high, we have 16 uh, minus 16, which gives us zero slack. Uh, similarly, we can fill uh, the rest of the table. So for best case, we have 16 minus 2, which gives us 14 R0 C0, and this will be 0. Um, here we will have uh, 16 minus 9, which is 7 R0 C0, and we will have 7 R0 C0 for uh, most of the other cases, but for the best case high to low delay, we will have 13 R0 C0. Um, similarly, for the uh, inverter, we're going to have 13 R0 C0 as a slack, for all the input cases because we have symmetric delay and we do not have a distinction between worst case and best case. And for F4, which is the two input uh, NOR gate, uh, we have uh, 10, we have uh, 10 R0 C0 for most of the cases. So um, this is 10. And we have for best case high to low, we're going to have um, 13 R0 C0. And so when we want to check that we do not have setup time violations, we first check that we do not have negative slacks. And we do not have negative slacks. We have zero slack for the four input NOR, which um, naturally um, would define that gate as the critical path. So we do not have setup time violations. However, we have to look at the best case slacks to see if we have uh, any whole time violations. So the highest positive slack that we get is the positive slack uh, that we get from um, gate F1 in the high to low case. And we get the positive slack of 14 R0 C0 corresponding to uh, the gate finishing calculation at 2 R0 C0. Now, whole time was required to be 2.5 R0 C0 which means that this path in this case is violating whole time by finishing 0.5 R0 C0 earlier than we needed to. So this is really curious because the whole time violation in this case happens to be in the critical path. Note that this is the critical path as well. We normally think of whole time violations as happening in fast path and uh, setup time violations and critical path happening in, uh, in, in longer path. And so we just assume that, um, that uh, the, the setup time violation and the critical path are going to be in a separate gate from uh, the gate that causes whole time violation. But that is not true. And in fact, this is not just a curiosity. This is something that happens often, that we find that whole time violations and the critical path happen in the same combination of logic block. Because some logic blocks are very complicated and have many paths, and as we can see, have many possibilities for resistance depending on the activating input that they could be both the, uh, the uh, critical path and an offending hold time violation. And so we end up with a hold time violation for the uh, gate F1. And what can, how can we solve this hold time violation? We said that the only way to solve the hold time violation is to add combinational delay um, to, remove, to remove this. So, uh, let's just do that. So we're going to add just a couple of inverters forming a buffer and each of the inverters will be sized like the unit inverter. So now these two inverters are going to add a delay of 3 R0 C0 each. Now the total delay through F1 is now uh, whatever delay we had before plus 6 R0 C0. So we had a whole time violation when we had the best case high to low delay with 2 R0 C0. Now the total delay in this case will be 2 R0 C0 from the gate plus 6 R0 C0 from the buffer, which is 8 R0 C0 and it is comfortably above the whole time, which means that we have removed the whole time violation.
And this is what we discussed when we talked about uh, solving whole time violations. It's just adding buffers, and we said that the tool can take care of that. But the problem is, sometimes when we solve the whole time violation, we end up creating a new setup time violation. Because notice that this delay is not going to affect F1 only in the best case, it's going to affect it for all cases. And so for the case where the delay was 16 or not, C0, which is the low to high delay, whether it's worst case or best case, is the low to high delay. The new delay will be 16 plus 6 R0 C0, which is going to be 22 R0 C0. And this is more than the clock cycle that we were using or that we needed to use. This creates negative slack and creates a setup time violation. And so now the problem with whole time violations is not that we cannot solve them. In fact, they are so easy to solve, the tool can do it. The problem is that often when you solve a whole time violation, you end up creating a setup time violation in the same location. And the problem is the combinational delay we add affects both the best case and the worst case. So when it affects the worst case, it can end up creating new negative slacks that you didn't know about before. So what does the tool do in such a case? The tool will report this to the designer and will say, look, I have a whole time violation here and I have, whenever I try to solve it, I create a setup time violation. You have to take care of this. So how is the designer going to take care of this? The designer is going to take care of this by um, breaking down this, this logic block, for example, creating more slack in this logic block to allow for the whole time violation to be solved. And after the whole time violation has been solved to allow for the new worst case plus the additional delay that was added to solve the whole time violation to not create negative slack.